Well, we got through a lot more situations uh, than we have, and I think we've gotten better. Um, but we had some moments where it was just some, um, you know, things where we made a great play on defense to win the game, and the guy, instead of getting down on the ground, he got so excited and, and he scored. If I was on the sidelines, I probably would have tackled him myself, you know. So, you know, and, or have one of our defensive guys tackle him. So we, we, there's just situations like that where sometimes our youth or inexperienced and not being used to those things, we got that's on us as coaches. We got to get that, that corrected. One week since last week's scrimmage, did you see a big difference between where your team was a week ago to today? Yeah, particularly offensively. I think we're trying to, you know, we got a couple guys back, and I think we're getting more comfortable. It's really you know, all starts with quarterback play, and our quarterback play uh, has been erratic, which I thought would happen because uh, a lot of guys are new, and it's gotten a little better. But man, we've there's still a long way to go. And our quarterbacks, you know, that's it's a quarterback-centered offense. He's got to be like a point guard to shoot the three. And we've been missing a lot of threes and not getting a lot of assists. And we're slowly getting better with that. And Coach Smith will get him right. Does this kind of signal a time where you go from more of the evaluation and pre-camp to game planning starting next week? Yeah, start Monday. We're going to be uh, getting ready for our first opponent, having scout units and doing. We're just been going against each other. Uh, now we got to get ready to play the first game scheme-wise, and all, and really in all f uh, phases. We've touched every special team, but we'll get heavy into it starting Monday. And what kind of challenge does that present with? I know you've mentioned the team that you're seeing in Stephen F. Austin is a team that's ranked in the top 10 on national television. Yeah, they're in the top 10. They got a lot of players back, and and uh, I know we won last year, but we got a, we got a couple good breaks and, and played really well. But this is going to be a challenge. And I think once our guys see them on film, they'll understand. And, I, and they're probably tired of practicing against each other. I don't blame them. I mean, three straight weeks of it, you want to go against somebody else, and we got to wait two weeks to do that. But I think our guys are conscientious enough to know that, hey, we got to take the next step getting game ready. Uh, I mean, we kind of started off slow, but, you know, we had to pick it up. Uh, we had a few fumbles kind of early, but uh, I feel like I feel like we're going to be good. I feel like everybody's kind of feeling each other out. We're kind of every day just getting better, you know, just going forward. Everybody's not really getting down on themselves, and we're all just learning from our mistakes and just moving forward from it. Three weeks into camp now, so many new faces, new system. Is it all starting to come together a little bit for the offense? Oh, most definitely, most definitely. Co like Coach says, the cream's going to rise to the top, you know. That's how we feel, you know. This is coming up our last day of camp or last week of camp, and we got, we're got about two weeks out, so we should be playing our best ball within the next week or two. So. Next week, Coach said you're going to start game planning for that opener. Is there a little excitement to, to quit going against red on white and start preparing for another opponent? Oh, most definitely, most definitely, because we're, we're going against our brothers every day. We're trying to make each other better for our opponent, you know, so we're, we're excited to play somebody else's new faces.